Jake here with uh, Island Park Rentals. Just wanted to go over some quick tips uh, for your snowmobile rental um, and show you a couple things. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is starting and stopping the sled. Um, if you just wanna make sure that your kill switch is always in the up position and that your key tether is always on and has a good connection. And then all you have to do to start it is uh, push this orange button and it fires right up. And then just to kill it or to stop it, push that switch back down and you're good to go. So another thing that you need to do with your snowboard rental is let the machine warm up, especially when it's cold in the morning like this. When you first start it, um, on the screen it'll display and say warm up and good key. Um, I just warmed this one up so it's not saying it, but if it says warm up on the screen, just let it warm up for five minutes until that goes away before you start riding it. Uh, another awesome feature that we've got in all our snowmobiles is the electrically heated end grips. Um, so to adjust those, just gonna use this knob right here. So pushing it up, it's gonna turn your heat up. Pushing it down, it's gonna get less heat. And then if you just look over here, when you're doing that knob, it adjusts both grip at the same time. So if I go up, you can see that bar going up. When I go back down, you can see it go down. And you can adjust your hand grips that way. So here's your fuel gauge, it says it's full. So we'll check them out to you guys with a full tank of gas. And then just make sure you guys bring them back full. Um, and then we only put 91 or premium gas in them. So make sure you do that. One thing that's really helpful to know is the sled shouldn't ever have problems overheating if you're riding it correctly. Um, the, the things you want to make sure that you have happen is if you look down here, if your snowmobile has the ice scrapers on them, make sure that these are in the down position like that. Um, that'll kick some snow and ice up and make sure it's getting on the tunnel helping keep the snowmobile cool. Um, if you are having problems with it overheating, kill it right away, pull over. And this is the tunnel area. This is what helps cool the snowmobile. If you're, if it's beeping at you and overheating, just make sure you get a bunch of snow like this. Throw it on the tunnel. Make sure it's off. You'll see that start to melt right away, and that'll help cool it. You know, the engine down. Um, so as long as you're, when you're riding, you're making sure that you're getting snow up here in the tunnel area. The sled should stay cool and run great for you all day. And uh, you know, if it's overheating for some reason, just double check the ice scrapers and make sure you get snow on the tunnel. So all of the snowmobiles we have are equipped with reverse. Uh, you only really want to use it when you're on hard packed snow like the trail or a parking area or something like that. Otherwise, you'll just keep the track and get it stuck. Uh, to put it in reverse, all you have to do is once you've started it, just hit this orange button again. You'll hear the machine rev down and start to beep. That'll let you know that it's in reverse. And then obviously just give it throttle and you can back right up. Uh, but again, just make sure you're using it in the right conditions. Otherwise, you'll just keep the track. So all the sleds have a little storage container right up here up front. Uh, just push this little button to open it up so you can keep a trail map in there, or we used to keep extra waters, some snacks, things like that. Something else really important to know is if you're out here driving on the roads to get to the trails or things like that, the roads can get really icy and the track will spin out really easy. Um, so just make sure you're driving careful and you're not trying to turn sharp and gun it at the same time. Uh, we've seen some, some accidents happen that way, so just make sure you're, you know, if you're on the icy roads getting to the trails or for some reason, just make sure you're, you're being careful with that.